Yeah. Okay, my name is uh, Deanna Miller Berry, and I am the founding organizer for Denmark Citizens for Safe Water. I've been the spearhead for um, the last two years, trying to make sure we get the right people um, in place to make sure that we get the right answers for our citizens. And um, even though we got the sad news, we turn negatives into positives and show the strength of our community. So right now, what we're doing is a community effort, not just in Bamberg County, but in the whole nation. And um, it's just been a blessing to work with this project. And um, this is my better half. He can introduce himself. Sometimes, Patrick Berry. <laughs> uh, this is my wife, I help. She just do what she said. <laughs> as any man should do. What are you gonna do with the water we brought? Okay, so today at 2 p.m., we're going, we've already announced it, so everyone is aware of what we're doing. As you can see, the tents are already up outside. Um, we're gonna distribute. So first come, first serve basis to, and it's only for citizens who live in Denmark in the city limits. Um, so we're gonna pass this water out. Um, we've had lines up to like six, 700 people who've been in line um, the last few distributions and the numbers keep growing. So as fast as we get it in is as fast as we're going to get it out to the people. Mm. We thank you for your wonderful service to the people of God. And thank and you bless for coming to our aid and answering the call. Um, it's, it's, an, it's an amazing effort when you have people who don't even know you personally but want to come offer aid. And for you guys to do this in this short period of time this is God's work, Amen. and you know we may not do everything right all the time, but He all He always says, if you are willing and obedient, you eat the good of the land. And right now, the city of Denmark is about to eat the good of the land and have access to safe, clean drinking water until we're able to provide solutions um, to this national to this disaster that we're experiencing. And I want to thank you all so much. Thank you. I'm from Oregon. I'm a hobo. What did you do I'm today? a gypsy. I combined, got a whole bunch of water going for the church. Excellent. Thank you, Brother Eric. You're welcome. As you guys have seen, all the water is now unloaded. It have not been dispersed yet. But most importantly, we want to thank Bluffton, Camel Chapel, Zion, Missionary. We couldn't have done this without you guys. For a short period of time, as you see, we've, we've collected a large amount of water, good quantity, in just a few days. So imagine if we just took a week or a month, probably could collect the Nile River, hypothetically speaking. But thank you guys, Bluffton. Um, now we see how it is to do a missionary work. It's been a good experience. I wish you all could have been here to assist, so we're bringing it back. Thanks to Dr. Black, most of all.